what's up, Mini Nation? It's Boy Davey on Focus on the Nation Gaming Channel. We are here for our week three battle in the IBL, the Indigo Battle League. Go to Vegas, cool Pikachu and her California King. Just your Vegas Golden D Knights do not know if they're 2 0 or not going into this battle, or they're 1 1 because I haven't had my week two battle yet. I'm having my week three battle before my week two because I'm going out of town on tu the Tuesday. Um, so, this, so you guys see this on Saturday. That the Tuesday before this goes up, I'm leaving and I'm gonna be gone till the following Tuesday. So I had to do this battle a little early, so I apologize. Um, depending on what our record is, we'll have a for sure everything definitive week four. Uh, everything will be in stone. I might make some moves week four as well. We'll see how it goes. Actually, this game is kind of a deciding factor to see if I want to move anything because it's looking at these two right here, the Hitmonchan and the Serena. But we are rocking out with our Entei Jolty on Araquanid, Florges, Hitmonchan, and Serena. I like how most of my Pokemon are shiny on this map. So, um, I've imported my sets. Everyone I know for a fact got Gen incorrectly this time because I know my week one, my Mew and my Licky Licky had wrong IVs. And I checked and made sure this time. I'm not doing it. It was my Mew, the Mew set, how it gens in or whatever. It's like, it's weird. Um, not that team, this team. Yes. Because I have my other team for Shadow ready as well, so I have to battle Shadow week 2. But he is in E3, so I don't know if he's ready to battle today. I was supposed to have that battle before that, but she, uh, Cool Pikachu wanted to battle a little early, so it's fine. Um, we rocked with uh, Giovanni. We'll just rock with Team Rainbow Rocket this one. I really like Rainbow Rocket's theme. So, let's see what she decided to bring. I'm a little scared of some threats, but we'll see how it goes. We should be perfectly okay, though. What did she decide to bring? Mantine? Kabutops? She brought the Umbreon. Mega Manetric. Flygon. Salazzle. Six Umbreon. So, Jolteon still has a field day. And we need to get rid of freaking Umbreon. Once Umbreon goes away, we're good. Is this, is this the banded? This is my banded Hitmonchan. Okay, so Bach punches. Oh, I can't pray any promising here. Mantine, and then she had a Mega Binet, but I'm happy no Mega Binet. Mega Binet actually threatened my team. Um, didn't bring the superior. I could have ran Sticky Webs. Oh, I'm depressed. Yeah. Um, Ante still has a field day. Because I can switch moves on Entei. I kind of want to lead Entei. I don't expect a Mega... Well, I expect Jolt, uh, Volt Switch potential lead. Is that or Flygon? I think it's that or Flygon. U-turn Volt Switch. I think I'm just going to lead with... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to leave with Kenna and U-turn out. I don't know what, he wants, what she wants to lead with. I think... Leading with Kenna, you turning out is my best set. Kenna is my Serena, by the way. Uh, go check out Cool Pikachu. Link to her and all the coaches are down in the description below and are in the description of any video. Good luck. Have fun. Come support your Vegas D Knights. Let's get it! I'm so, I'm like so nervous. Last time I lost her because she beat me with a Seeking. I don't think that video made it to YouTube because I forgot to edit it and I went on a trip. To some crap happened, dude. And I felt bad because it was, it was, it was a funny game and I made playoffs off because so I didn't really care. Bro, these are so loud in my ear. I called this! Hold on, I called this. I need to chop kick this thing. I can't let this thing start setting up on me. If I chop kick it, it's not an issue. Mm. Mm-mm. 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 Cause like it can it can outrage me. Because my thing is, if I drop kick it, it doesn't get set up on me. And I, if it outrages me, we have a lot of HP, and I can always get that HP back. So I'm just going to go... What if it's Z outrage? Oh, uh, we don't die. Actually, let me make sure that she has... I forgot what her Z mods are that bad. This is also a division game, just for a quick. It's Ms. Magius and Kabuta, so she can't Z's Z moving. I'm going to go for the drop kick here. If, you want, if she wants to go into U-turn, I should have U-turned out. I didn't think of u turn That did a lot. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That brought me down to 107. Wait, wait, wait.
Well, it's not adamant. I can come to that conclusion. I should have U-turned out. Um, and I'm just hoping and praying she doesn't go into Salazzle. But I couldn't- I can't risk this thing setting up on me, because if I got a D-dance up, this- my team would've been screwed. Chop kick allows me to the point where I can continue to not do it. I also could've opted for the knockoff. Best case scenario, Umbreon comes in. That's the best case scenario. We're assault vested, so I know we live a Mega Manetric, um... I don't know if we live that overheat now. We do. We, li we live it. Unless she's modest, we live it. And she can't afford to run modest because we have a Jolteon. My fans switch out. Um... Rackard it takes swallows the overheat, but I don't want to deal with that necessarily. A lot of U-turn volt switching on. Umbreon, perfect. That's fine. That's fi actually best case scenario. I'm cool with that. Rocky Helmet Umbreon, hello? I'm actually okay with that. This makes me want to hard swap into Forges, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to go straight into Forges, toss up a witch, go right back into Serena, and you turn out. I think that's a better play. Osteo Paramum. I love that name. It just has, it goes, she just goes for a foul play, try to get a kill. Um, so Moonblast is what the play is. So I'm actually I'm gonna make a double into Itsy Bitsy. I'm gonna make a double into Itsy Bitsy. Because even if she stays in. Liquidation Leech Life do good damage. Umbreon is synchronized, right? Oh, it is inner focus, but who runs inner focus? Who runs inner focus? Raz the Salazzle. Okay, so I am highly predicting Mega Manetric to come in, okay? I'm going to click Liquidation, and if it's Kabutops or Mantine, that is fine, because I will hit him with the finest of um, infestations next turn. But we're good. If you guys, we didn't have a, if we did not have a team builder, Itsy Bitsy is running Infestation, Toxic, Leech Life, Liquidation. The me it's a meme set. Jolteon is my wing con. Entei is running a muscle band. Hitmochan is choice banded because mock punches smack up this team. Literally, Salazzle. I want to show you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys the calc real quick because let's um, I'll probably run the team. I probably will record a team builder directly after this because I forgot to before this. But a drain, a mock punch is 30 to 36 to this thing. It's wild. Manor. Perfect! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Manti can't do anything. Uh, I can air slash this. But this should do decent damage, right? That's good damage. And your defense fell. And you're running lefties. Let's, 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 let's process this for a second. We happen to be running air slash. Does it get air slash? Yeah, 
Yeah, it gets air slash. I thought so. Okay, so let's say it's theoretically running air slash. To my... Arachnid. 32 to 38. I can click toxic in front of this thing. It scalds me. Which is okay. It'd be okay if I didn't miss my toxic. That would be okay. I'm gonna infestation trap this thing. I'm gonna infestation trap this thing so we get residual and then I'm gonna toxic it. Infestation trap and then I'm gonna toxic it. I want her to stay in. Because if she doesn't have air slash, she has nothing to hit me. And my liquidation hit, so she's not water absorbed. What is Mantine's other ability? It's probably water veil, so she can't be burned by scalds. But from what? I don't have a mana like scald. Unless she's swift swim. Hmm. My steam is very rainy without a rain mon. Or without a rain setting. Like no Pelipper, no Politoed. I'm gonna go for the infestation. I should have infestation trap turn one. Cause then I, I I'm just I'm a little it's a little unfortunate I missed that toxic. It'd be nice to land those, man. Cause this thing would be taking damage. Again, should have infestation first turn, but It is a little annoying that I missed that. Because I also can liquidation to lower uh, her defense more. So we'll see. We'll see. Ah! This thing is like slippery as heck. What the what, Miss Jackson? Withdraws into what? Manetric? What are the chances this thing clicks me clicks a clicks thunderbolt on me? What are the chances? Cause I can take a thunderbolt. The problem is Do I wanna take the thunderbolt? If I go for Liquidation Swap and go for Shadow Ball, nothing takes that. I lied to you. I can go for a workup. Uh, I really want you to go for Overheat. I'm gonna Toxic this thing. Or do I Liquidation it? Liquidation does good damage. I'm gonna Liquidation this thing. Get more Residual on it. I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I, we're full HP. I know we can take this. If I had Miracle right now, that'd be lit, but I don't. Which is really unfortunate, dude. This is one of those moments where I wish I put Miracle over Infestation. Oh, Intimidate! I forgot about that. Oh, well, Intimidate Calculin, that's fine. She Volt Switches? Hold on, hold on. What? Oh, okay, that's right, damage. I was like, excuse me! That's fine, though. That's, that's okay. Uh, I go for liquidation again and hope and pray she doesn't go into Umbreon. That's all. I only say that because I don't want to take more Rocky on the damage. But Umbreon might be the play because of the Mirror Coat. But anything else doesn't really want to take this. Mantine can come in on me. Which is fine. But at minus one, it sucks a little bit that I have to do this. Uh, I kind of wish I would have clicked Toxic. Because we have Heal Bell. But she probably has Heal Bell too with Sola oh, with Umbreon. So I haven't seen anything out of the Salazzle.
Here comes this thing again. I'm just counting something real quick. I'm gonna go for Toxic again. Here comes a Skull. This is fine. We take this very well. Extremely well. No burdens. Beautiful. Lands a Toxic. Thank you. Personally, I should have trapped this thing again, but it's fine. Um, I want to go into Jolteon now. Let's call this 2631. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Jolteon. Um, Thunderbolt literally kills it. I actually think I could click work up here. Because I get a work up off. If she doesn't switch, I click work up. Because at that point, I'm doing monster damage. Only problem is. It is Mega Manetric. I can take A over E. But then again, I can take two if I'm at full. She withdraws. Blade. That's Blade. Even freaking better! Rain's not up. Non plus one does a number. And you're not outspeeding me. Now in theory, in theory I just want to go for Thunderbolt. And I just don't want the Z move to come, that's all. And I know I outspeed the Flygon. Unless she's Scarf. That's why she went for U-turn turn one. I'm gonna play a little over predictive. No, I can't do that. Mega Manetric. To me, Mega Manetric or Flygon come in. No way you stay in with this. No way you stay in with this. I'm gonna do it. Eclipse. I don't want to stay in on this. I want to work up. I am going to work up. I think a wish is coming. I'm going to work up and fire off Thunderbolts. I'm going to get one work up in. Start firing up Thunderbolts. That's fine. Alright, let's get the Thunderbolts going. Get the Thunderbolts going. And I think I was calculating against a specially defensive one. So, she's not specially bulky. This, uh... This plus one Thunderbolt's doing a number. If she's physical, this has a chance to knock out, I think. Yeah. We'll see. I just, I want to know if the thing's scarfed or not. Flygon. But I think she's running Dragon Dance. I don't think she would run Scarf. Oh! 
that's unfortunate, dude. Unfortunato. What is this calc? It does 27 to 33. That's a bit from like. Hold on. How much does Life Orb do? 138. It does 10%. So I go to 80%, right? Off the of Life Orb damage. And that took me down to 50. Then it's. Then it's 42%. Then it's 48%. That is so much more than the calc is saying. On plus one attack. I'm stupid. The plus one attack really screwed me there. I didn't even think of that. Um, I can fire off another one. I'm gonna hit power ice though, just to be safe. In case Flygon wants to come in. Like she doesn't want to risk her Umbreon. Good play on the foul play. I forgot about the plus one attack. That did so much more than I thought it was going to. I can't live that now, but I can get, I know I can get in. I need to get Jolteon healed up, that's all. But once once this goes down, everything gets one shot for the most part. Manetric and Slab. Like Mantine dies, Kabutops dies, and Flygon all die to one shot from Jolteon. Then I'm just gonna HP Ice. My team's pretty weak. Okay, so. That's awesome. It's good. Umbreon, uh, Jolteon continuously putting in the work. Uh, Umbreon's gone, which means Hitmonchan. Honestly, still has free ring. Here comes Bolt. I'm switching out. I want to keep Jolteon alive. And I know that she... And my question is, is she going to Bolt switch or not? Who's my least Saki member? I say Serena. Actually, yeah, I think a Volt Switch is coming. So I go straight into Serena because I don't want. I'll give a priority, but I'll go into either Jolteon. Entei on the Salazzle actually is probably better. Because I can click Sacred Fire and hit something for really good damage. So I'm just gonna stack Serena here. HP Ice? They like no damage, dude. Hello? I mean, if you want to HP Ice, actually, I could save this for later. I'm going to off field here. I'm going to go back. Uh, so I said Serena's going to die to a Volt Switch here, and I didn't click Volt Switch, so that's cool. I want to double out. Uh, I believe this is him power ice. Bolt switch in power ice. Uh, I still think she has overheat. But she may not carry overheat because him power ice is strictly for this thing. That's why you carry overheat. thinking about this one. I want to keep Jolteon alive strictly because it makes more sense. Don't go to Salazzle. 
Slazzle hits me like a truck. Okay, hold on. If a nasty plot goes off here, I'm screwed, dude. Hold on. Yeah, and that's goes off here, I'm done. Well... Yeah, that's gonna hurt. I'm going into Entei. Um... He takes one. He takes one now. Oh, he doesn't take one, actually. I'm gonna go Wish. No, because I can't risk the Nasty Plot. I'm going back in Serena. I'm sacking Serena. Dude, went for that in the first place. Stayed in, should've clicked Zen Headbutt, like, or knock off like I wanted to. And then fine, we would've been in a better position. Okay. It's Life Orb. Okay, nice to know. Nice to know. I'm going into Entei. I'm clicking Stone Edge. Actually? Sacred Fire, dude. 4950. I'm clicking Sacred Fire. Slaz was not a Z-Mon, I don't think. It was Kabutops and something else. And it's Life Orb, so it's not- it doesn't have a Z-Mon, so we're fine. I wanna click Stone Edge. Um, it, it does a number. But the problem is, if he, she doesn't go into Man Time- I mean, if she goes into Man Time. On the Sacred Fire. Stone Edge kills afterwards. Because of damage already took. I probably think the best set, or the best person to go into is Kabutops. But if I, um. What if I burn that thing? That's what I'm more looking at. I'm gonna Sacred Fire here. I'm more so making sure. Everything in her mother resists at this point, but. Manetra. Everything resists a fire type move. I'm only going into Entei because of the burn. Uh, we have Stone Edge. Got like a Bulldoze kill, so she might be thinking Mantine and Flygon. If we get a burn off Flygon, that's a beautiful thing. And our team just becomes that much. Uh, our team, yeah, just becomes that much better to work with. <sighs> Here comes a withdrawal. What are you going into? Now we're in. Okay, actually, this is fine, because I can stone it the following turn. Got the burn. Alright, cool. Negates lefties, that's fine. Sunner does 59 to 70 to a bold max bulky one, so we're gonna go for it. Should it in theory, this should kill. It's like about that range, like 60 to 70. It's about that. This looks about 60 ish to 70 ish, we'll see. We hit it. Mantine goes down. Is it a crit? Nope. Mantine, or uh... Entei kills Mantine with Stone Edge. Now, Flyguard comes in here. I'm terrified. Mystic? It's Flyguard. Um. Unless you guys were, I know Floor just takes this and clicks Moonblast. So Floor just, I need you now more than ever, girl. Entei is put, did what it needed to do there. Killed Mantine. Here comes EQ. Okay, so it does have earthquake. 
That is significantly less. It's not adamant. You definitely jolly. She's definitely jolly. 100% of the time is jolly. Um. Now, every other time, I would click. I would click Moonblast. But seeing as Salazzle's just sitting there. I think Itsy Bitsy could take anything that it wants to throw its way. Um, I hope. This thing has a life orb, that's the problem. Let's see, real quick. It does half of the freaking sludge wave, dude. That's a bunch of damage. Oh, I have nothing that resists it now. I'm actually gonna toss up a wish. I'm gonna toss up a wish and go into Hitmonchan. I'm gonna toss up a wish and go into Hitmonchan. Get more lefties, that's the whole point. Yeah, I kept Salazzle. Uh, it is shown Sludge Wave, that's it. Hitmonchan, because Hitmonchan does 56 to 66 with a Drain Punch. Which should restore enough HP to the point, and nothing on his team wants, uh, nothing on our team wants to take a Drain Punch. And I know Salazzle will, or uh, Himmelchan will recover all that HP back from the Sludge Wave. I'm a little scared that she clicks Nasty Plot here. If she clicks Nasty Plot here, I just lose this game. I just lose straight up. Sludge Wave, thank you. I know we're gonna take a bunch. Take a bunch of damage from that. But that wish will bring us right back up. Alright. And we're banded, so I go for Drain Punch. I go for Drain Punch because nothing on her team wants to take it. Nothing takes a banded Drain Punch. Nothing takes a banded Drain Punch. Everything gets two code by it. And I know we live anything from Minetric, we live anything from this thing. Kabutops get O code. We live anything from Flygon. Wait, do we live anything from Flygon? We're living outrage from Flygon and Drain Punch kills from this range because of the damage it's taken so far. Wait, has it taken damage? Have we hit it with anything? No? I still think it's Scarf. Oh, it's not Adamant. Hold on. It doesn't kill me. We're fine. It's Jolly for sure. Yeah, okay. We're definitely not dying at all. But everything outspeeds me, so we have to take hits from multiple things. That's the problem. Well, Drain Punch! We're Drain Punching health back, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Hemochamp might actually just win the game straight up right here. We're banded into Drain Punch. Nothing wants to take a Drain Punch. This thing actually gets two code from Drain Punch. Hitmonchan, I'm putting a lot of faith in you, buddy. And we, we, we I, I. Oh, it's that did more. Okay, so, we die. We die 100% to a Drain Punch, right? The whole point of that was to get HP back. I'm going right into Itsy Bitsy, gonna sack it off. I'm gonna sack it off, because we need this thing for, uh, what's it called? We need this thing for, uh, Mach Punch. That's what Entei, that's what Entei's here for. She has no priority except for Aqua Jet on this thing, but Aqua Jet's not doing enough to him on Chan and Mach Punch kill. But I think it's taking some damage. Jolteon outspeeds Kabutops. Kills it with a Thunderbolt. I need to know what Flygon spread is. That's it. That's all I need to know. But yeah, I'm gonna sack a Raccoon We don't need a Raccoon anymore. Um... It did its job. Everyone else is doing their job. Everyone's doing it right. Okay, so Mantine's dead. Uh, Daita Entei. 
Jochan killed the Umbreon. That was honestly the threat. It, Mantine was stopping. Stopping. Hey, Monchan. I'm just mock punching everything. But now, this thing's a mock punch range. Kabutops almost gets O code by it, but not quite. Flygon is, um, gets two code. Oh, unless I calped the wrong thing wrong. I think it might. It gets two code. Dang your O code by Drain Punch. And Manetric has taken some damage, if I'm not mistaken. She switches out. Kabutop, what did I go into? Does this thing get water absorbed? No. So I just click liquidation and let this thing go down. I click liquidation and let I just go down. Cause it's neutral, it hits everything for neutral. I'm gonna let me go down. Um It's the same game plan. Kabutops would have dropped to a drain punch. Wild. Stone Edge, that's fine. Kills me regardless. Uh, no show on item either. It outspeeds him on chin. Not gonna lie, I'm really set on rolling in with Jolteon and just clicking a Thunderbolt. But if it's scarfed, it kills me. I'm pretty sure Floyd just actually can 1v1 this thing. I don't know. I'm gonna go into Jolteon and just fire off a Thunderbolt. If Flygon comes in, I switch into. Florges. Who takes those? Yeah, just Thunderbolt. I don't need Jolteon to win this game, but having Jolteon on the team is very, like, uh, very nice. Um. Araquanid, I think, did a great job. Oh, this thing's gone. This thing's gone. Oh my gosh. Kabutops with Thunderbolt. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not misplaying that. Honestly, Kabutops can die now. Or I'm sorry, Jolteon can die now. Unless the Flygon's not Scarfed, only reason I would keep it alive. It out, it's outsped by Slazzle, outsped by Mega Manetric. I'm pretty sure it's outsped by the last three Pokemon. Because I need to keep Entei healthy. To be honest with you, if I go into Entei, I, if I sack Jolteon off, go into Entei, 
let me think of this. If I sack at Jolteon off, go into Entei, or whatever it kills me with, I go for Sacred Fire, whatever comes in, most likely sack Salazzle. Most likely sack Salazzle, go to Flygon. Click E Speed. Let's see if she's scarfed or not. I'm not scared. If she, this is, I need to find out if she's scarfed or not. So we'll find out right here. If she's not scarfed, she's dead. If she's not scarfed, she's dead. So unless she's Yachi, she could be Yachi, maybe. But then that just, yeah. Okay, she's scarfed. Okay, next to enough. Choice card. Thank you, game, for clarifying. We know she's scarfed. Confirmed. That's fine. That's perfectly okay. I have um, initiative now. Because whatever you want to go into, I go into Entei. Because I kill Slazzle with the E speed. Manetric Draw dies to a Sacred Fire, and I live any hit from that thing because it doesn't have anything to hit me. I think I live any hit from that thing. Yeah, same scenario. Um. Yeah. It does not drop to a Sacred Fire, though. But that's post Intimidate. Will Intimidate still go if you go. Uh, it'll probably go. Okay. The only problem is I gotta keep into factor. Manetric has intimidate. But, like, a Sacred Fire hurts. I could easily go Florges. On this thing. Basically, everything just needs to get into Hitmonchan range. Everything just needs to get into Hitmonchan range. 30. I need this thing to 40%. I need Palazzo, or, uh, Flygon at 50, and I believe Entei can do it. It'll be hard, but I think Entei can do it. I say Salazzo comes in here. Or, I can just start mock punching things. Because can Hitmonchan take one at the HP attack? Can't take an outrage, has a chance to take one. I don't know, I think Intimidate still pop, but I still go into Entei. Cause I just need to get a Sacred Fire off. I believe Intimidate still pops. No, Intimidate doesn't pop. So actually. I believe she's gonna select sack Salazzle here. So I'm just gonna go for a Sacred Fire regardless. Um, Jolteon did amazing works. Hold on, let me count that. That was a max roll, if she's not modest. Why would you go into this thing? Burn it! Burn and I win! If this is a burn, I win. Game over. GG. I win. No way around it now. I think I win the game. Yeah, I live this. Unless you want to click U-turn here, which is fine as well. Uh, live this, please? Because Hitmo Chan has Mach Punch. Bless up. I can't believe she did that. I'm like, actually shook. Oh, I just bit this off. Unfortunate, dude. I always do that to these things. And I'm just going to E-Speed Spam. She thinks I'm banned. That's the problem. I think she thinks I'm banned. Dies to. Jol what did Jolteon die to? You, uh, Flygon. Uh, U turn. And then Entei kills 
Flygon with extreme speed. So I get intimidated, right? I'm gonna E speed this. I E speed this. And I spam Mach Punch. Because I'm banded into Mach Punch. And that's a GG. I believe. I personally believe it's a GG. So I'm just gonna E speed here. No reason to, s no reason to do anything else. Um, Ante is gonna end on 2 and a 1 today. That's fine. Uh, this is just for damage. Uh, I needed more damage. Volt switch? That's fine. That's fine. Ente dies to Mega Manetric. Volt switch. And yeah, at this point, I just spam the crap out of, uh, Mach Punch. Mach Punch kills this thing from here. Uh, Mach Punch 2 goes the Manetric from the range. Um, if I want to be greedy as well, or if I want to... I can always swap and swap back, but I believe we're okay with him on chain to win this game. Because Intimidated has 30 at 2 codes and he doesn't Oko me, or she doesn't Oko me. So we spam Mach Punch. Oh wait, I have damage off. Hold on, 61, yeah I don't die. I don't die to 1. At least I think this is how the rest of the game will play out, but I'm not sure, you know? Unless she wants to switch, take the mock punch, switch out, take a mock punch, no, that'd be stupid. Just, I think either scenario, you lose. Because either way, if, if it comes down to Mega Manetric versus Florges, Florges kills with a uh, Moonblast, and Manetric has no recovery. Choice banded Hitmochan, man! <laughs> this makes me not want to get rid of Hitmochan, even though I'm really hardcore considering it. Hitmochan's a monster, dude! I love Hitmochan! Now, Serene, on the other hand, I'm not loving as much. But, I don't know, I kind of like my team. No Steel type's not the worst thing in the world. I was thinking about picking up Registeel or Bronzong. They're just chilling there, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, I'll make a decision after I come back from TNG, because I think my team, this team is working perfectly fine. But no steel type really is gonna hurt me against Shadow. Yep, okay. Kills a mock punch. Good night. Slaz will finish the day one and one. And then my Ante finished two and one. He killed Megmanetric and he killed Mantine earlier with Stone Edge. And it looks like Hitmonchan is gonna finish two and oh. So, yeah, I just, um, mock punch it up. It's a 2 co even with Intimidate. Thunderbolt doesn't, I hope Thunderbolt doesn't kill. Yeah, yeet! And GG! Two cool Pikachu. Hitmonchan proving to be an amazing Pokemon! Little Mac is said, I only had him for like three games last season, so... Hitmonchan coming through in the clutch. I love Hitmonchan as a Pokemon. Hitmonchan has been amazing. But GG to Cool Pikachu, we will retain our undefeated status as far as I know of this game. I am undefeated. I have to play Shadow still. But so I may not, or I may sorry, week two. Like I said, our game was early this week. Hopefully we are good. Um but yeah, this is a big division game that means we're uh this is a huge division game that means we take if we win if we beat Shadow, if we beat Shadow last week, that means our division is like pretty, pretty well. Because we'll be one game ahead of Cool Pikachu, depending on her week too. And I'll be two ahead of Shadow if we beat Shadow. So we'll see how it goes. I'll get that guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like button down below first. Go show Cool Pikachu some love. She's a, she's actually a lot of fun to watch. Very entertaining person. I'm gonna get out of here. Tim Minion from your boy Dave Young and your Gaming Channel. I am out.